Hello all. In this video we shall see how to configure the new XB S2C modules which are powerful and capable of UART as well as SPI communications. Like other XBs, the S2C module has an unique 64-bit address printed on the back side. For demo, we make use of two uh, USB XB adapter boards. Plug on the S2C modules onto the adapter boards in proper direction and connect the USB cables to the USB ports of your laptop. In case you do not have this uh, USB board, you can make use of your Arduino for this purpose. Arduino board can be used as USB to UART. Some male to female jumper wires are needed for this connection. Connect pin 1 to VCC 3.3 volt and pin 10 to ground. Take care that you are connecting to 3.3 volt. If you are connecting to 5 volt, you may damage the radio. You can press the pins of jumpers so that it makes good contact on XB. Connect TX pin 2 of XB to TX of Arduino and uh, pin 3 RX of XB to RX of Arduino. Connections are straight and not reverse. Uh, while configuring, we are making straight connections and not reverse connections. Connect the RST pin of Arduino to ground. This is to bypass the by bootloader of the uh, Arduino and only the UART section of Arduino is used. You can also upload an uh, empty code onto Arduino for this purpose. Now if you press the button on uh, XCTU, search button on XCTU, it directs the Arduino you know and then the radio connected to it. Let us start the configuration now. Open XCTU software and then click on the search icon on top. To know the COM ports where uh, radios are connected, open the device manager and note down the COM ports allotted. Here COM3 and COM31 are allotted. Select the ports and then click next. Leave the port parameters to default 9600, 8 and 1. 9600 is the baud rate, 8 data bits, no parity and 1 stop bit. Click finish. The radius are uh, discovered by the XCTU. Click add selected devices to see the radios listed on left pan of the XCTU. Click on the first radio to load the settings. You can see the uh, product family as uh, XB24C and function set as Zigbee THREG. TH means through hole and REG stands for regular. To upgrade uh, to latest firmware, click on the fourth uh, icon, upgrade firmware. Leave the function set to Zigbee THREG and select the newest version. Click finish to upgrade. Let us now configure the first radio as coordinator. First set the PAN ID for your network. This can be any value, hex value from 0 to FF, FF. All modules in the same network must uh, have the same PAN ID. Uh, let us set it as 1, 2, 3, 4. Scroll down to DL, destination address, and set it to FF, FF. This makes the radio to operate in broadcast mode, uh, so that it can communicate to all radios in the network. Next is the node identifier, NI. You can provide any name you like. Let us name it as coordinator. This is optional. The AP enable is left to default transparent mode, which is AT mode. The other entries are left to default. To make the radio as coordinator, set the CE parameter to enable. Now 
this will make the radio as coordinator finally click on the right button there is a pencil icon uh, you see on the top uh, to register the changes made now click on the second radio let us configure this as a router this is quite simple enter the pan id as uh, 1234 which is the same as that of the coordinator set the jv channel verification to enabled so that it joins the coordinator leave the ce to disabled click on right to save changes Now the radios are configured, it's time to test the communication. Delete the second radio and then click on the first one. This is the coordinator. Leave this XCTO window open and then uh, start another instance of XCTO. Click on search button. Click on that search button and select the uh, com port of the second radio that is a router radio add the selected router device and click on it to load the settings now the new window has a router radio and the older XCTU window has coordinator radio left side is router right side is uh, coordinator You can provide a name like router in the node identifier and then click the button next to it to change individual parameters. At any moment you can change the parameters and then write that particular uh, change. Place the XCTU window side by side. Router is on the left side and coordinator on the right side. Click on the terminal icon on top and then click the uh, serial close button on both the XCTU windows. Now you can type message inside the console uh, log window to see that received by the other radio. Transmitted message is in uh, blue and received message is in red color. You can also close the hex view and then test for uh, only characters. So this is bi-directional communication. Both ways uh, ZigBee's are communicating. Now let us see how to load the firmware 802.15.4 th and test point to point communication the new X, uh, xb is capable of loading all types of firmware click on the upgrade firmware button and select function as uh, 802.15.4 and then click finish now the parameters are loaded for the new function set you can see the new function set 802.15.4 to set the first radio as coordinator leave the channel ch setting to default c set the pan id as 1234 DL destination address is FF, FF, that is broadcast mode. And here is the my address, MY, set it to 0. That is typical to a uh, S1 type of radio. And CE to enable, that is coordinator enable. Click on the right button to save the changes. Now this radio is coordinator, that is S1 type of uh, settings. 
now go to the second radio and click on up update firmware select the 802.15.4 th function set and click on finish leave the channel to C pan ID is uh, same as coordinator 1234 DL destination address is 0 and the my address my is 1 the coordinators my was 0 this is 1 CE is disabled now click on uh, right to save the changes CE is disabled and set as end device so here it is set as end device click on right now click the terminal icon and then the serial connect on both the windows now you can type any characters inside the uh, coordinator it will be received by the router and if you, if you type any character inside the router it is received by the coordinator this two-way communication point-to-point -point communication in this sim firmware no mesh networking is possible only point-to-point -point communication thank you for watching